The real trick, getting people to actually cast their ballot. With so many big races this election, both sides pushing for everyone to vote. And that includes the governor's race. ABC 15's John Genovese live at the state capitol tonight. And John, both sides, we've really seen uh, two key issues at play here. Yeah, education and border security. Those have been the two big topics this campaign season. And with the election less than a month away, the numbers show the Democratic nominee has some catching up to do. This is an opportunity where the voice of Arizonans get a chance to be heard. Democrat David Garcia taking on incumbent Doug Ducey for the top seat in our state. But we're going to keep running as hard as we can. Based on the numbers, the gap between these two candidates is growing. The latest OH Predictive Insights poll of 600 likely voters shows Garcia trailing Ducey by 17 points. Even in a blue wave scenario where Democrats turn out more voters than they've ever turned out in our state's history, at least in the last 10 to 14 years, he still is losing. Political consultant George Califf of Data Orbital believes Garcia struggled to deliver a clear message on several issues, including public school funding, now one of the pivotal issues in our state. If you're the education candidate, you must have an education plan. And when the alternative is someone in Governor Ducey who took steps, and we can disagree on how quick or not quick the steps were taken, it doesn't matter. He took the steps, uh, outcomes have, have occurred. Garcia telling us yesterday at a campaign event, he believes in closing certain tax credits and loopholes and raising tax taxes on the highest earners to fund the state's K-12 system. Arizona needs an initiative for a dedicated revenue source. Ducey talking with us today pointed to the passing of a 20% pay raise for teachers by 2020. And among what can seem like non-stop political ads. Just imagine, no wall, no wall in Southern Arizona. A statement by Garcia the governor and his allies have held on to. My opponent is a college professor and he knows the importance of words. I'm against Trump's wall, but the, the, the future for security is technology and focusing on technology is where we need to go. I'm concerned about the drug cartels, the human trafficking and the child sex trafficking. So I want to stop that. So of course I'm supportive of a wall. And voters are already making their picks. With early ballots out, Califf predicts 30% of votes will be cast over the next two weeks. And as always, it's not over till it's over. Bernie Sanders announcing he will campaign for Garcia here in Arizona. And both campaigns tell me they will be pounding the pavement through Election Day. John, I know Garcia has been facing a number of hurdles here. Uh, part of it is just sort of a lack of support from some of the people who were supposed to be on his side. Yeah, the Arizona Democratic Party, according to some recent reports, spending nearly $2 million on Katie Hobbs' race for Secretary of State, but reportedly has not purchased any TV ads for Garcia. The experts will tell you that can make a big difference, Steve. Yeah, it certainly does in messaging. Thanks so much.